Ready to roll? Well, we're excited, uh, obviously, getting ready to head out to Detroit. We've got to practice today, one in the morning, then we're on the plane. It's been a great uh, bowl prep for us. We've had an opportunity to really develop uh, our young team and uh, the extra bowl practices, you know, we'll probably get about 15, 16 of them in, which has been fantastic. To watch the young players develop, the first eight of them, you know, we're heavily geared towards the young players, and it's just, uh, it's been fantastic for us. Um, so we're excited about that development. The kids embraced it. You know, we had great spirited practices out there, really competing hard against each other. It was a lot of fun. Um, now as we home it back in a little bit, uh, you know, on uh, Saturday and Sunday, and obviously today, they're much more geared towards, uh, they are flat game week preps now for the game. So, um but uh, we're excited about it. It's been good. Can't wait to get out there. Can't wait to get a chance to play for our seventh win and in uh, our first bowl victory in nine years. So uh, it's an exciting time, and uh, the prep has been great. It's been awesome. The team's been fantastic. The attitude's been unbelievable, and couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, any questions? Well, I think the first one, you know, what happens, you know, you get back to a bowl after a long layoff and, you know, sometimes maybe you're, you know, you, 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 know, you, you exhale and then all of a sudden, you know, you go out there and, you know, you played a really good team that year and, uh, and uh, it strikes you. I thought year two, um, we played a great football game year two, we just couldn't stop them um, and I uh, thought we had a great, great opportunity to win that game. That was a really competitive, great bowl game. Uh, obviously, you know, our, our goal right now is to get our seventh win right now. That's our goal. That's, that's what it's all about. I think this team is uh, real focused on that, you know. Um, you know, the, the preparation has been geared towards going to play this game and win this football game. That's what's on their mind. All right, I guess I'll talk to the mic. Uh, Coach, you mentioned momentum and, and things like that. And it feels like you guys have some real palpable momentum right now. Uh, how important is it to keep that going? I know bowl games are always important, but do you guys feel a little bit of a, a little extra pressure on you to keep that going? <clears throat> you know what? Um, I would say that we just want to go win this game. Uh, there's nothing going to stop our momentum going into next year um, because this team's just not wired. Like this team has got a great attitude. They know that there's a great future ahead of them. They know that we're still developing. So, you know, one, one Saturday morning, if you will, isn't going to derail that. You can't derail 16 practices with that. But for me not to tell you that the energy level to go in this game is really high and it's really important to us, yes, it's very important, as it is for everybody, but we're attacking it that way. But it will, no matter what, uh, I just, you know, loved what I saw in the end of the year as a team, the chemistry, and I love the actual young players on the field in, in, this, in this bowl prep. So that's all real. Um, and uh, obviously, it would be fantastic to go in here and win this game. And that's our whole direction. That's our whole, our whole aim. Uh, which of the young players have you seen take the most uh, out of the practices you've been able to have, whether it's Anthony, whether it's someone yeah. else? Well, I think Darius and Anthony took a lot out of it. I think they did. I think the offensive line took a lot out of it. You know, guys like John Phillips got in there a lot. I think that was really good for him. Um, I think, uh, you know, guys like Tom Kolakowski, you know, a young freshman lineman. <coughs> I think uh, the young defensive line. Um, I think uh, uh, the young tight ends, who we'll be using a ton in this game. But, I mean, they just need the development. You know, uh, you know Ray Martin and uh, Cole Rabidrizzi. Um, just all over the place, you know, uh, you know. Kobe White is a young receiver. Uh, just guys all over the team. You can just watch them, and uh, and it's fun. It's exciting. Uh, you know, so uh, Max Richardson on defense, a young inside linebacker. Uh, just watching these guys, you know, and some of them have played significant snaps during the season. Some haven't, but uh, really uh, validates where they're going to be to me watching it. Uh, Maryland, a lot like you guys, they've kind of had a scratch and claw their way in a really tough conference to get to this bowl game. Uh, what have you seen from the Terrapins on film, and uh, what do you think could give you guys some problems? Well, they run the ball really well, um, and uh, 
I think uh, they're athletic on defense. They're very similar to us in a lot of ways. They may look a little different in terms of on offense, they're a little bit more spread orientated, a little more tempo orientated. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of same kind of play structures. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, you know, I think they're, you know, we're matchup teams playing each other. Um, you know, I think it's a good, you know, I, obviously I believe that we play in the best conference in the country right now. There's no doubt in my mind about that. Um, the most talented. And uh, so, you know, we've been well prepared. I mean, we've played a lot of good football teams. There's no been lack of good football teams we played, you know. I'd say Clemson, Florida State, Virginia Tech, and Louisville are as elite teams as there is in America right now. So um, I think that preparation's been good for us. And uh, so it'll be a good matchup game, real good matchup game. Uh, getting back to a bowl game was obviously big for you guys, but around the country there are a couple guys who aren't participating, which has created a conversation about sort of the value of going to a bowl game or the, the value of games. There are like twice as many of them as there were even 10 years ago. Uh, do you think that there's like a, if, if players decide to not go to these games, does that at all compromise the value of the games? Well, I mean, I'm not in favor of any of that. You know, I, I don't understand that. Uh, you, know, you, you, have a, you have a bowl game, you have your team, you're with your team. And I think, you know, a bowl game is a reward for your team, and you go play together, <coughs> compete together. Uh, you know, you don't need to rush your, everybody wants to rush their life. And then when they get on the other side of that thing, I talk to guys like Mike and Marquise Pouncey all the time, and they wish they could go back, okay, because it's such a unique time in their life. So I really don't understand that. I hope that's not something that's going to, once again, here we go, you know, create, you know, create that. I, I, I hope not. But you know, everybody's got their own individual reasons, I guess, why they do what they do. But at the end of the day, I just think about how we all started this thing. One of our goals is to get to a bowl game as a team. And we want to go as a whole team and compete as a team. I can't, I can't understand all that. Does it devalue games? No. Um, you know, uh, I just think that, you know, like everything else, here we go with some, you know, there's plenty of great players out there that are playing in their bowl game. I don't know where all this stuff comes from. I really don't. Uh, Coach, you've gotten to play in some pretty cool venues this year. Uh, obviously, a bunch of ACC road games, really tough places to play. You got to play in Ireland. Now you guys get to play in a dome in an NFL stadium. Uh, just talk about the experience for your guys and some of them who will play at the next level. Yeah, I mean, I think <coughs> part of the college experience, one of the reasons we went to Ireland was uh, for the kids to experience a different culture, different country. And... Uh, you know, I think that all these things are a collection of experiences for, for guys, whether they go to the next level or they don't. And uh, I think it's what makes college football great. And uh, it's these times that you get to spend with each other. It's the environments, the venues, the areas, the different parts of the country, the exposure you get that you might not normally get to have a chance to travel and, and, and to do it with your, your family unit, which is your football team. I think those are the memories that, that, that live with you forever. You'll forget scores, you'll forget those things, but you won't forget the memories of being together at these different games, venues with your teammates. You won't. And that's what, to me, makes you know, great when you reflect back on your life. These are the moments, I call them moments. I think they're moments that you know, make, make, make you know, great for reflection later on and, and to be able to talk about with your future family and all the great things makes college football and athletics as a whole special. Thanks, guys. When are you guys coming out? Good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you guys have a great Christmas, all right? Appreciate it, man. See you.
What's going on? Uh, just first question. Uh, in terms of bowl games you've been to in this one, what's the difference in mentality? I guess there's checking in in this one. Um, I think we all go in with the same mentality as we're trying to win the game. It's fun to go to a different destination each time, but every time we're there, we're, we're focused on one thing, and that's trying to get that win. Well, uh, Detroit isn't Miami. It isn't, you know, a tropical yeah. destination. But you get to play in an NFL stadium against a quality opponent. Yep. Uh, I guess just talk about, you know, taking advantage of that opportunity to kind of finish out your career. Yeah, it's definitely a, a pretty big venue we're playing in. Um, I'm excited that it's inside instead of outside during this time of weather. Uh, but, yeah, we're, our team's excited. Uh, our program's excited, and we've been just working hard this whole off week to get ready for this game. As, as sort of an older player, how, how have you seen some of the younger players take advantage of the time they've had to get more practice in? More yeah, uh, our practice has been divided up pretty well, trying to keep the older guys healthy and getting some young guys some work. Um, usually at the end of practice, we have like a, a young guys period where they just scrimmage for like 20, 30 minutes. So seeing them develop into what they are now from the beginning of the season has definitely improved a lot. And especially with this bowl game, if you don't have, if you don't make a bowl game, these kids don't get to develop. So. I think that was a big uh, keystone in our program was making a bowl game and letting these younger kids develop a little bit. You've been in games where, or in situations where you haven't gone to a bowl game in a while, you get to one, and it's like, oh, you know, uh, let's do that. But then you kind of like, you're hitting the base. How do you kind of get smart to play with other guys? Yeah, it's going to be like, where do you swing? Yeah, this is our, my third bowl game since I've been here. and. We haven't won yet. Won one yet? I don't think we won one in nine years. So <clears throat> this is big, definitely a big challenge for us. And I think, yeah, we're going to a bowl game. But our our main priority, like I said before, is to win the game. You know, all the all the other attractions are fun and stuff. But when we're practicing, we're locked in. And when we get on that field, we're going to be locked in as well. Uh, what have you seen specifically from Maryland's offense? I know they they do some different things, but they're pretty tough, and uh, they want to run the ball on you. Yeah, definitely very dynamic in the run game. And that's a uh, challenge that we faced all year in the ACC with great running backs. So I think it will just be another another great challenge for our defense. Thank you. you take into this game versus some of the other games you might other bowl games you might have been in well, I mean the mentality doesn't really change no matter what game you're playing in you're gonna give it your all you got to prepare to the fullest to try to go out there and get a win uh, this game is different for me because it's so close to home so I'm really excited for that I'm from Cleveland so it's a little two-hour drive across 90 to up 75 so I had like 70 people coming to the game so it'll be a lot of fun for me having all my friends and family in the stands so that's a little bit different mentality for me this time I'm doing 70 tickets <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of kids on the team. We all got about six tickets. I was able to swindle a few tickets here and there, and got, got it done. Uh, can you take us through the day when your friends and family kind of find out, like you know, selection day when you guys figure out where you're going? And I'm sure you guys are looking at not St. Petersburg, not Annapolis, and you're like, oh, perfect, not Shreveport, perfect. Yeah, so my, all week leading up to it, my friends and family back home were texting me saying, "Is it really going to be Detroit? Is this really going to happen?" Because they were really excited for it. And then when it did happen, my phone blew up. Everyone's all excited. They were able to come to see me play my last game. A lot of being from Cleveland, a lot of my family has not been able to come up to Boston to see me play. So it's, it's going to be really cool being able to have them all there. <clears throat> yeah, I guess just talk about ending your career with a bowl game uh, earlier in the year. You know, a lot of people doubted you guys, and you guys fought pretty hard <laughs> to win yeah. those last couple games together. Just what this means to not only you, but all the seniors. Yeah, it means the world to us. We, we didn't want to go out the way that everyone thought we were going to go out. Sorry. <clears throat> so to be able to battle back has a perseverance and stick to it. it. It meant the world to all of us. We're a tough group of guys. We've been through a, a good amount of stuff through our four years here. So to be able to come out strong those last two games and get the wins that we knew we could, it, it meant the world to us. Uh, and I guess same question I asked Matt. What have you seen from Maryland's offense that you think could give you guys some problems? Um, they like to do a lot of like misdirection and stuff. They, they, they have a good running attack. Uh, but you know what? We, we fancy ourselves on stopping the run. I think we've done a pretty good job of that the last two years of stopping the run. And we've seen some great running attacks this year. We have Dalvin Cook down at Florida State, Wayne Gallman at Clemson. 
So we just got to do the same thing we do every week. We got to play 11 guys to the ball and make sure everyone does their job. Thank you. Before I get into a football question, were you one of the people who gave Kevin one of his 70 tickets to this football game? I was not, no. Um, I actually got about 45 to 50 people coming, so I was also in the same boat as Kevin as, as needing tickets. <laughs> That you take into this game because one, uh, this is the first one for you, right? Right. Mm -hmm. and for a lot of guys, they had to go to one. I mean, they, they had a chance to go to one a few years back. It was like after the beat, and then the second year, it kind of it kind of clicked for them like it's a real game. Mm -hmm. But uh, the mentality you're taking in this one, as opposed to being happy to be here versus actually trying to win the game. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's definitely a balance. I think um, you know, and that's one thing I think Coach Dazu has done a good job of. Say, like, hey, you know, we're going to a bowl game. We need to enjoy the bowl game. Um, and I think our schedule. There kind of sets up sets us up for that, but like you said at the end of the day, we're there to win a football game and get win number seven. Um, and I think I don't know if we've I think it was it's been nine years here. I think it's what somebody said told me yesterday since we've won a bowl game. So um, it's huge for our program. Um, it'd be a huge one for our team and our seniors. Uh, talk a little bit about the development of the younger guys, specifically the younger quarterbacks, who I know you've gotten to work with a lot this year. Yeah, for sure. Um, so. These last couple of weeks have really been kind of imperative for them, you know, Anthony and John and Darius, and uh, you know, I'm I'm very confident that this team is going to be in really good hands uh, come come spring, no matter who the quarterback is. But um, they've all done a really good job at taking coaching and, and really taking advantage of of this kind of downtime that we had. Um, you know, I mean, especially you know Anthony and Darius, and I mean they've done a terrific job of of really kind of you know asking you know good questions. I guess you know if somebody who's you know, who has, you know, a significant amount of experience. Um, you can tell when, when somebody really kind of gets it and really kind of understands what they're doing. And they're, they're very knowledgeable. Um, they're gaining experience. They're taking, you know, live reps, which can only help them. The last drive in, in Wake, I mean, you talked about that one. It's kind of like an opportunity for the office to kind of prove something to itself and then to, to some other people. But do you think that, that that's still sort of something that uh, – is that something that might be driving you going into the bowl game? And, and obviously, that's a showcase and a, and a chance to show what the offense can do. Uh, do you think that's something that, that carries over? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's kind of always been, I guess, the stigma um, here. You know, the defense has always been really, really tough, and the offense has just kind of, you know, kind of pulled their weight, so to speak. Um, so, no doubt, um, like you said, you know, that uh, that Wake Forest drive was really big for us to kind of put us over the edge, um, to know that we can do it when, you know, when we need to. Um, you know, that was, you know. A, a great moment for us to kind of run and hide, um, and we didn't, uh, which was which was really encouraging. And definitely going into this week, um, you know, we play I guess a week from yesterday is our game, so um, you know we're we realize that we realize that um, you know we're going to have to play well to win this football game, um, and, and we're excited about that. Uh, two more quick ones, slightly off of it, but uh, there's an argument, there's a conversation that can be had about like, oh, there are 44 bowl games. You know? twice as many as there were 10 years ago and blah, blah, blah. But as somebody who actually fought to get to six wins, does that argument sound at all silly to you? Say that one more time, sorry. There's an argument that, oh, there's so many bowl games and why are there so many bowl games? Right. But is, there some, is somebody who actually fought to get to six wins and yeah. get into a bowl game, does that yeah. sound silly? Um, I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I, I can speak for us. I can say that we're extremely excited. I mean, I think when, um, when you go through as much adversity as we did, um, you know, I don't know how we'd be if, we didn't have this kind of sixth game to play for. Um, you know, it's you'd like to think that yeah, you know, we're we're motivated enough um, to want to win every game, no matter what we're playing for, and I think we are. Um, but you know, after that Syracuse game, you know, when there was still you know, rather it be small, there was still a light at the end of the tunnel that we could get to six, and um, <clears throat> especially after we won, you know, you know, in uh, in Raleigh, um, you know, having that to work towards uh, was huge for us and. You know, there are a ton of bowl games. I think, what, there's a couple five and seven teams, too, that, you know, made it to bowl games. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that we're, that we're going to one. I mean, the work that, that we've put in as a team and, you know, 
whether it's been four years for me, like, you know, this is, I mean, I'm ecstatic. I mean, I, I told people, I think after the, told you all after the Wake Forest game, I don't care where we go. You know, I'm just excited to get another chance to play with my teammates, and um, that's something I'll, I will never take for granted. Awesome. One last quick one before I let you go. Okay. Um, have you taken the time? It's, it sounds like you have a little bit to kind of think back on this year. You know, you transferred in, a uh, chance to start. You got to start the whole season. You went through some ups and downs. Have you really processed that, or does that kind of come after the bowl game? Uh, yeah, you kind of process it a little bit. I was talking to my roommates today. Today's like my last full day in Boston, I guess, because I'll be, you know, done after the semester. So um, it's, it's, it's definitely weird. It feels like that, you know, I was getting picked up at the airport, you know, last month, but that was 11 months ago. So, um, no doubt, I'm trying not to think about it now, um, but you know, I'm sure it'll hit me after after the game when I'm kind of hanging out with my roommates and stuff after. So, um, you know, a one, it's been a wonderful experience. I mean, I can't wait to cap it off, you know, with a win in Detroit. Awesome. Thanks, guys.